Hey guys, I just have not been doing anything today other than making a mess. <laughs> this morning when I was actually going to show y'all again my coffee creamer because every once in a while I like to show y'all just in case somebody new hasn't seen it or whatever. And I was too busy thinking about that that I did something that I've never done before since owning any coffee pot ever in my life. And I stuck the pot in, you know, the coffee part in, turned it on, closed it up, and then I pushed the button to actually make it activate and make the coffee. But I forgot one really, 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 really crucial part. I didn't put the cup in here, so coffee went everywhere. So, um, needless to say, I had to clean a mess. Um, let me sit y'all down. Also, I had decided before I got up, because my back is, you know, not happy today. Um, and today is the only day that I have this week that I have a free day that I could do extra things. Well, my back's acting stupid again. So, I'm going to do the extra things I can and forget about the rest. But, um... I had decided, because of my back, that I was just going to have a donut stick for breakfast with my coffee. Because, you know, people eat muffins for breakfast. Y'all know I made 12 yesterday, right? There was five left. I did have one for breakfast. There was five left when I got up. I don't know what happened to them. I guess fairies came in and ate them don't know. I don't know if Jeff ate. Oh, I know that Jeff and Noah had some before I went to bed, but I went to bed before everybody else. So, eight of them are gone. I did have one last night, and then I had one today. I had the two smallest ones, um, because I really didn't want a big one. So, thankfully, they left me the smallest ones. Well, I had the smallest one last night, and there was a small one in there this morning. But yeah, they must really like those things. So anyway, um, I do have, I finished those covers yesterday or last night. One is hanging there. One is still in the dryer. One, I don't know what I did with it. What did I do with it? Oh, it's on the dryer in the basket. Um, so... I need to fold that and some more towels and hand towels and stuff, cleaning things that I washed. And I need to fold those blankets. I need to wash a load of clothes today too, which I'm thinking about just waiting to wash the load of clothes until tomorrow because I can do that tomorrow and while Julie Marie's here. And it's like, I feel like I'm still doing something. I, I'm doing a lot though. Babysitting is a lot because you get to cuddle and you get to love on the baby and you get to watch them laugh and play and all those things. And if my back is the way it is right now, I'm definitely going to have to take some pain medicine. I'm going to try to not do it today. Y'all know me. I, I don't like taking it. I don't like the way it makes me feel. And even just ibuprofen. I'm not even talking about a narcotic. I'm not even taking narcotics. I'm just taking regular old over-the-counter ibuprofen. And it makes me feel cruddy. But it does take the pain away. So anyway, um, one of the issues I have been having that my doctor put me on medication for, let's just say the medication worked. And that's contributing to the pain. Not going any further into that. You ladies can figure it out. Um, <laughs> you men too can't, can't probably can too because there's some smart men that watch me. But anyway, <laughs> I just don't want to talk about certain things. But I don't know what I'm doing. I mean, the kitchen is clean other than there's a few dishes in there. I need to empty the dishwasher and the dish drainer and put those things in. I don't know what I'm doing today. Y'all, I really don't. And I'm not cooking supper. Because you see all that? Well, over there's not leftovers. But there's like 
leftover which some of that's not leftover some of it's strawberries and stuff like that but yeah we've got plenty of leftovers and I was gonna cook the dumplings but no I'm not so y'all are not gonna see me cook a meal today I did want to oh I've got to make some more snack for Jeff for work because he didn't want to take these to work this was just to see if we liked them and um, which Noah and Jeff don't mind them being this size but I would rather them be smaller <laughs> they can eat too <laughs> um, anyway I need to make some more Rice Krispie treats and Jeff wants me to make the kind with peanut butter so I'll do that with y'all even though I did it not too long ago some of you might not have seen it but I am gonna do it different this time this time instead of putting the M&Ms on the top because um, you know we want some chocolate with it so they taste like a whatchamacallit candy bar um, well that's not the goal in the beginning when I first made them the goal in the beginning was just to see how we liked it but then you know it turned out to be yummy <laughs> wonderful <laughs> anyway um so that the m&ms don't just fall off i'm gonna mix them in after i take it off the heat and everything like that so i will do that with y'all today but i don't know what else so uh, pretty much this intro is a bunch of complaining i guess i mean i'm not trying to complain but i just want y'all to know what's going on um, and I'm going to go ahead and tell you a little bit about the week. Today is Monday, okay? The day I'm recording this is Monday. You'll see it on Tuesday. Um, tomorrow, I have Julie Marie. Wednesday, Noah has a dentist appointment. I have a doctor's appointment uh, to go see about my blood work. Thursday, I have Bible study. And Friday, I have Julie Marie again. As far as I know, those are the things that are happening. So that means this week's videos might be a little odd or... Well, they're always odd, aren't they? Um, they might be a little different. As in, they might just be me cooking dinner. Or something like that. And me talking to you a little bit. Which, even those videos that I think are going to be pretty short, they're not. I, I talk a lot. And y'all, something else I've noticed um, in the last couple weeks that I haven't really mentioned... Um, every once in a while, it's like my vision acts weird, but it is time to get my eyes checked again, but this eye has been really red, and I don't know why. I don't know if it's pollen or what. It could be pollen. We've had some bad pollen days, but my vision's been a little wonky, like blurrier, but just for a few seconds, and then it's back to normal don't know why let me know if that's ever happened to you because of allergies because right now I'm not taking my allergy medicine because I, I really want to see if I can not have to take the Claritin or Zyrtec it's just the over to hell or stuff but still if I can just not take it I don't know and I did something else last night after I shampooed my hair I took and I let it dry almost completely and I put it in one of those fishnet wig caps wow the camera got dark why am I so dark I don't know anyway is it my hair moved that's that's weird did y'all see that or is it just my vision anyways I took it it was still a little damp very little bit and I put it in one of those wig cap things and um which means that it's one of those that's long that you put down around your neck and then you pull all your hair up and you let it all fall to your head and then you twist it and pull it back over your head again i put that on and of course it didn't cover my ears or anything but just went above my ears and around and up here well anyway i put that on and then i put my little satin cap on over it and i slept that way and this is what i got I don't know what the back looks like. It could look like bad, bad. But it's normal. Like the way it normally is. But 
it wasn't as tangled this morning. That was the whole reason I was telling you. Because whenever I went through to comb it, because I've been just combing my hair for the last, I don't know, few months. When I went to comb it, there were no tangles. And I was like, I will always do this. <laughs> So I will be sleeping with a wig cap on. I don't know why I decided to do it. I just decided to try to see if there was some way I could like not. Like what I was really trying to do is get a different curl thing going on. The curl thing, I don't think it changed. It's all about the same, but the tangles were almost completely non-existent. So that's a good thing. I will be wearing a wig cap every night, I think, with my little satin cap. Anyway, so I'm going to stop talking right now, and I will come back whenever I'm doing something else. I don't know what. I don't know what I'm doing. Because today is just not what I wanted it to be. It started off with a bunch of coffee everywhere. It really wasn't a bunch. It was like eight ounces, but... I looked over and I was like, my cup was sitting right in front of it too. I just changed the coffee pot and started over after I cleaned up all the coffee and put a new mat down. So thankful I had thought to put that mat there whenever I put my coffee pot over there. Or Keurig, whatever you want to call it. It's a coffee pot. But yeah, I had decided to put one of those drying mats under it. It sucked up all of it. <laughs> Almost all except what was on the very front that it couldn't reach and I did wipe it up with it too So put you one of those up under your coffee pot. It might save you a big mess <laughs> Anyway, I'll be back later You always find your way to higher ground May you always keep your head held up high Pretty little thing You're a diamond in the rough Shining from within I can tell that you're tough Just the sight of you when I'm at my weakest point Makes a world of difference, oh, you make me strong. Pretty little thing, you're a diamond in the rough, shining from within. I can tell that you're tough. Ordering a cup of love, feel it rising up and above. You will always keep my heart and soul strong. Your seeds and watch them grow. The light will always know where to go. You will always keep my heart and soul strong. You're the first thing in the morning and the last. Baby, you're my future and you are my past Pretty little thing You're a diamond in the rough Shining from within I can tell that you're tough Ordering a cup of love Feel it rising up and above You will always keep my heart and soul strong your seeds and watch them grow the light will always know where to go you will always keep my heart and soul strong
Okay, so I just did the dishes and you saw that I went very slow, even though it doesn't look like it to you because I sped the video up by now because I know that's what I'm going to do. That's why I can say that that's what I did. <laughs> I haven't done it yet, but I will in editing. Um, anyway, I wanted to talk to y'all a little bit about something. Something I had to do for myself, and I've just recently done this in the last few months. Um, I've talked about it a lot of times over the years. I've said I needed to do it or that it, I've said it would be a good thing to do. Things like that. But I never was really committed to it. I mean, it was a great idea. It was something that would help me. It was something that would help others. But I never really committed to it until the last five or six months, maybe the last five months, I don't know, four months, I don't know. But it has helped me and I want to share it with you. Um, mine is a mental list. But you can write a physical list, you can type up a list on your phone, on your computer, you can have it printed off, whatever you want to do. But I know that a lot of you who follow me, a lot of my people here have health problems. Or maybe you're older and you can't get around as good as you could. You have periodic health problems like I do. Like some, like it's always there, but sometimes it flares and it's worse. And what I want to talk about is not feeling so guilty. For years, I would ask for help. And a lot of times I wouldn't get the help I needed. Or I would have to keep asking for the help. Or, you know, it, it wasn't done the way it needed to be done. Or something like that. So, um, there are things that I had to do to change my mindset. That's what I had to do. I had to change my mindset about things. So my list, the first thing on my list is something not to do. The first thing on my list is never feel guilty if you don't get it all done. And this list is not my normal to-do list. This is my to-do list for days when I'm having a bad day. When I'm having a bad back day like today. When I'm having whatever that's going on that causes me to not physically be able to do the things that I want to do. So, um, I also want to say that you all know that I do have a lot of help around here. You've seen Jeff. I've talked about Noah. He doesn't like to be on the videos very much. Um, they do help me. They do things around the house. They help me fold clothes. They help me with the dishes. They vacuum. They do things. I am not saying that I do not have help. What I'm saying is the help that I get, I need to appreciate and not expect it to be my way, if that makes sense. And I'll give you an example, okay? Sometimes when Jeff or Noah empty the dishwasher, they do it completely opposite of me, first of all. Completely opposite. That's okay. They do it the same way, though. They, the two of them, they do it their style, which is the same. <laughs> My style is different. <laughs> but um, sometimes they don't know where something goes, so they have to ask me, and that used to annoy me. Because for some reason... I had it in my mind that they should know where everything goes in the kitchen. They shouldn't. Because I move stuff all the time. There's no way for them to know. <laughs> because I move things to make it more convenient for me. Because 80% of the time, I'm the one in the kitchen cooking. Yes, Noah comes in and he does a little stuff for himself. Or he's even helped with the cooking. And, um... 
Jeff comes in, he does things, but um, most of the time I'm the one in the kitchen. So I move things to help me. So if they put it in the wrong place or they have to ask me, I don't, I shouldn't get annoyed, right? I used to. I used to get annoyed. Like, why did, who put this here? This is not where this goes. I couldn't find this because somebody put it in the wrong place. I've been looking for this for a week. <laughs> you know, that kind of thing. But I've learned to not get irritated if it's put in the wrong place. I've actually learned to laugh about it. And to tell them where I want it. Um, and I've also listened to their logic of why it belongs where they put it. And sometimes I've changed it to that spot because it makes a lot of sense. So, I've learned that whenever I ask for help, to accept the help however I get it. Now, there have been a lot of times when my kids were growing up that I would have to ask and ask and ask and ask. That was very annoying. I, I never came up with a solution about that one. <laughs> it just kind of changed. <laughs> anyway, um, so I'm not saying I don't get help. But I'm saying accept the help whatever way you can get it if you have that. If someone is helping you, accept it lovingly and don't complain. Um, another thing with me is I have certain tasks that I want done daily. Do I always get them done? No. Do they always need to be done daily? No. Those two things, the two biggest things, are the kitchen needs to be clean before I go to bed. And y'all know that I don't always do that. But it needs to be mostly cleaned. And the clothes need to be caught up. Because a pile of dishes drives me crazy for several reasons. Several reasons. One, um, dirty dishes stink. Two, dirty dishes attract rodents and gross things that we don't want in our house. Three, dirty dishes make me lose my motivation whenever I want to cook. I'm just like, don't even want to be there. So, I like to keep it cleaned. I don't always get it all done. There's some days that I hurt so bad that I just cannot finish it. So, it's just left. I mean, I do, it's always partially done, but um, that's because I empty the dishwasher and then we just load it as we go throughout the day. That's the only reason it really gets partially done. Um, the clothes, we have plenty of clothes. The only thing, you know, that we might run out of would be Jeff's work clothes his uniforms but um, I don't like the way dirty clothes smell I don't allow the hamper to overflow because if it overflows that means it gets in the floor if it gets in the floor it means I have to pick it up out of the floor so that means it has to be picked up twice it shouldn't have to be picked up twice it's a weird logic but it works um, so I like to make sure that the clothes are caught up yes I do have a load of clothes I could wash today, but like I said earlier, I'm going to wait until tomorrow. I have clothes that need to be folded right now, and I will hopefully get to that today. I didn't take any pain medication, but as the day is going, I am very much thinking about it because I want to fold those clothes. And there's some more things that I need to do that I'm not going to be filming. Well, I'm going to be filming but you'll see it later. It's my planner videos. But I don't even want to really sit here at my desk. Like, Jeff has this set up. There. Okay. It's got lights and everything. It's an awesome rig that he set up for me. For me to be able to plan, uh, to do my planner videos. And also to do videos where I'm just sitting here showing y'all something. Like, unboxings and stuff sometimes. I use it. But he sent me this rig up so I could have a dedicated place for that. 
and sitting here I would have to like kind of bend over and that's not happy that my back doesn't like me but I really want to get those videos filmed so that while Julie Marie's here and we have doctor and dentist appointments and all the things this week that I don't fall behind and I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do that because sitting here is I mean right now the way I'm sitting in my chair because I am all the way back up against the lumbar support it actually feels okay but when I'm filming I have to scoot up in my chair like more toward the front my back is not touching the back of the chair because otherwise I wouldn't be able to reach my planner to film properly and things like that anyway it's a whole thing <laughs> but I want to do those things so I'm contemplating taking medica medication for it the, my back but I don't I don't really want to because like I said it makes me feel cruddy but I've gotten off subject but um I don't even know if I've been on subject but I have a list of things that I, I will not do that is don't feel guilty if you don't get it all done and things that I want to get done daily the kitchen and the clothes are those two main things and well the kitchen including feeding people those are the main things now everybody in this house can cook for themselves can cook quite well but I like feeding my family it makes me feel good to give them a meal and them be nourished and be happy and enjoy it it, it just makes me happy so I want to get that done too which today we're eating leftovers that makes me happy too because in the kitchen is gonna be a little bit cleaner because the refrigerator will be cleaned up <laughs> but um there are things that I want to get done daily there are also things that I want done weekly and I have gone to weekly with one of them even though I was doing it three times a week and the reason why I've gone to weekly except this part is because of my back keeps acting crazy at least once a week or more well a few days a week I don't always tell y'all when my back is hurting I usually only tell you when it's really bad like really really bad it hurts all the time that's the thing it hurts all the time but some days it's really really bad and some days it's just eh, a little worse than normal don't want to make it worse so you don't do as much but one of the things that I want to do weekly is get my floors cleaned like clean clean um, I can easily run my vacuum over the little carpets and over anything in the house it's not hard uh, that vacuum is not very heavy but if I really want to like get the whole entire floor not just the high traffic parts then that's more if that makes sense I mean this is a, not a tiny house it's like 16 1700 square feet I think I don't know I don't really know at one point I thought it was 1900 square feet because that's what the lady said I don't know what it is anymore but um that's one thing I want to get done is the floors another one is the bathrooms because it grosses me out to brush my teeth in a dirty sink or at a dirty sink I don't like brush my teeth in the sink but you know what I mean it grosses me out to take a shower in a dirty shower which we do use the shower spray every day and that helps a lot um, it just grosses me out I mean what's the point in taking a shower in something this dirty are you really getting clean I don't know <laughs> and the toilet's the same situation I don't care what you're doing I mean yeah what you're doing in the toilet is gross it's natural but it's gross but I don't want it to be dirty <laughs> if that makes sense um so yeah anyway <laughs> let's not talk about that anymore um there are certain things I want to do and I want to keep doing now do I get my kitchen cleaned every day fully seven days a week no do I feel guilt about it anymore no 
Am I able to cook my family meals every single day? Yeah. And the reason why is because I have come up with meals that sometimes they're easy meals like a freezer meal or something. Now if my back was worse, I don't know if I could. Do I keep the clothes caught up? Yeah, pretty much. Um, there's clothes that needs folded right now that I could have folded yesterday, but it's okay. Um, I guess what I wanted to do was encourage you to make your list of must-haves, but the first thing on that list is what you must not have. You must not have guilt because you can't do it all. Because if you're in pain, if you're sick, that's not your fault, most likely. The majority of the time, it's not our fault. We don't know why my back is how it is. The, doctor do, the doctors don't know. No doctor I've ever seen can figure it out. I've never been in bad accidents. I've never had any reason. I've never done anything to cause it. It's just the way it is. So, I guess I just wanted to encourage you not to beat yourself up because you're not getting everything done. And I have spent a lot of time, a lot of time doing this today that you may not even have wanted to watch. But I hope that it encourages you to not beat yourself up. But make yourself a small list of must-haves. Weekly, daily, monthly, whatever you've got to do. Of things that you must have. But don't make the list too long. Don't make it too big that you can't really do it. Lower your expectations a little bit. Yeah, lower them a little bit. Because don't expect yourself to do what you used to do when you're injured or you have some sort of, you know, illness that is chronic and you can't do anything about it. That is what I'm having to do today because my back does not like me and it's saying stop. So I did the dishes. I will probably fold all but the, I'll fold the small things, but I'll probably sit to do it. Don't know if I'm filming it or not. There's not a lot to do. It's like less than a load, but still. And then maybe I'll get Jeff or Noah to help me fold the big things. There's only three of them. It's not that hard. It's just a lot of movement that I don't want to do and I especially don't want to make my back worse with the week that I've got. So I'm going to not take medicine. I don't want to take medicine. I'm going to try to get through some of my videos that I need to record so that I have them done and I'll be back when I'm doing something else and I hope this didn't like make you think I'm a little bit crazy. Well, no, it doesn't matter. I'm crazy. I'm the good crazy. But, you know, I just wanted to encourage you. It's okay to don't get it all done. What? It's okay not to get it all done. To don't get it all done. Is that a new language? No. It's a mess. That's what it is. So, um, my eye is super watery for some reason. The eye that's been very red. I don't know what's going on with it. But it's very watery. Maybe it's dry, because your eyes water whenever you have dry eyes. Could be that. I'll be back. Okay, guys, I'm about to get started with the peanut butter Rice Krispie treats. I don't know what else to call them. And instead of me putting this in the refrigerator or freezer this time, I'm going to use it to kind of go over my pan a little bit. I'm not worried about getting it completely done, but I'm just going to do a little bit, which there's not much left on this, um, this butter wrapper. But I've got a 9 by 13 pan there, and I'm about to put, well, I've got one stick of butter, 
and I'm going to put about half of this marshmallow cream in there, which is half of 13 ounces, so six and a half ounces. Is that right? No. Yes. I don't know. I'm going to put some in there. <laughs> I'm going to put some in there. That's what I'm doing. Yeah, that's about right. Close that back up. And I'm going to put a 10 ounce bag of marshmallows. I'm going to have to buy some more marshmallows, y'all. I think that was my last bag. If I'm thinking, if I'm correct about things, that's, that's my last bag. Anyways, I've got my pan here, which I'll move over here now because I'd rather have it over here and I'll move the camera in a minute. And I've got a cup of peanut butter there, but I'm not going to put it in quite yet. I'm going to put it in in a minute. Well, not a whole minute probably, but I want to get this kind of done a little bit. That's unsalted butter as well. You can use salted, but I'm using unsalted because that's what I grabbed. That is literally the only reason why. Because there is going to be an element of saltiness in this because of the peanut butter. What's their saltiness in the Rice Krispies? Alright, I'm going to go ahead and put the peanut butter in. smell it. It's just like so yummy. And y'all know I told you that the donut sticks were about gone. <laughs> we have the four. I'll put that in the dishwasher in a little bit, but I don't want to fool with it right now. And I have figured out that a half of a cup, no, half of a box of Rice Krispies is about the six cups. Because I can make it twice, make Rice Krispie treats twice from one or uh, one box. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. It smells so good. You probably don't have to mix it the whole time. It's just a habit of mine. I really don't know if you have to or not. Daisy's like, what are you doing over there? She's trying to figure it all out. Rice Krispie Treats are like some of the easiest things you can make. I mean, if you had to make your own marshmallow and all that stuff, it'd be harder, but... If you don't, then it's easy. I do have a recipe for marshmallows, or at least I used to. I've never made them, though. It's one of those other recipes that I got because I was interested in trying it, but then I was too nervous to try it. Now, I've been doing some of those recipes. I did turn my heat off. I've been making some of those recipes because I'm not as nervous about it now and really wonder why in the world I was so nervous back then about doing things. Granted, we did not love the Oreos after, like, they were just too big was the problem and they were not something that was a favorite around here. So those will not be made again. Not that recipe anyway, but I do want to try to find a recipe that we do like a little bit more. They were just a little, they were too rich. Like they were just too, too much, too sweet, too something. Put some more in here. Yeah. 
that's about it. Take this off the eye. Because I'm about to go ahead and put the um, M&Ms in and fold them in some. I'm probably going to put about a cup of M&Ms. That's enough Rice Krispies. Oh, I know. That may not be a cup, but uh, that's probably not a cup. But like I said, we decided to put them inside this time to try to keep them from um, falling off. Because last time they just fell off so badly. Alright. Move this back and get them into the pan because some of the marshmallow, uh, the, some of the, can you hold this for me? The other side. Some of the M&Ms are um, melting too fast, which it won't matter, but we want them to kind of hold their shape, or I do anyway. I don't think Jeff would care. Would you care if it? If the M&Ms were all melted in it. Okay. See? <laughs> you want to lick the pan? Yeah. Uh, there you go. Give me. Well, there's your little extra on this. Did you really? No, you just threw it in the floor. That come off the side of the pan. Yeah, that was not on the side of the pan. Oh, no. Some of these are melted and got kind of... Do you want me to put any on the top too? I was serious about licking the pan. No, I wouldn't. Stick my tongue out. I wouldn't. No, you don't stick your tongue in it. You pick the little pieces out, which I don't think there were any pieces left. You want to lick that? Nope. <laughs> Do you want me to put any M&Ms on top this time? Anyone? M&Ms on top. Do you want them on top? I don't think there's a need for it. No, we're not going to put it on top. Alright, so there they are. They smell delicious. See how fast they are to make? Like, less than 10 minutes. Just let them cool down, cut them, and eat them. Fields were mine. We played hide and seek for hours, raised our shadows among the pines. So offshore, play fall and free, without a care in the world. I was one rich little girl, daydreamer, kidnapped me. Take me back, all the way back. Them days running around in a gown and a crown, barefoot. No mistake ever kept me late. We spent summers catching fire. Flies and winters on our skates. One big smile across my face. We used to dance our way to church on Sundays. Mama set the pace. Daydream of working and
Okay, so I got everything folded. Well, I didn't fold my throw blankets that are in the living room because I'm probably going to use one of them tonight. Um, they're going to be used anyways. So, no sense of folding it just for it to get right back unfolded. Those blankets are not folded or comforters and quilts not folded perfectly, but I just don't care. Noah was busy taking out the garbage. Jeff had gone to get some rug tape or something for this rug that we bought because it's a little bit slippery. That's all right. He's going to do that, so I didn't ask for any help. And I'm okay. I did not take any pain medicine. But I got the things I wanted to do done today, except one video that I want to record. And I actually recorded an extra one because someone had asked me about something. But anyway, um, I can do that in a little while after I shower or something, after Jeff goes to work, something like that. And then I'll have all of those done and I won't have to think about that except editing, which I can edit while Julie Marie's here because I'm not doing a voiceover or anything. So, um, with that, since I'm not cooking supper, we're doing leftovers, I'm going to go. I will see you guys again tomorrow. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you got something out of the little chat that hopefully made some sense. I guess what I'm really trying to say is don't put too much pressure on yourself, especially if you have health issues. Chronic health issues are no joke. They're no fun. They can get worse if you don't take care of yourself. So take care of yourself. I mean, don't let it be a license to be lazy, but do what you can, when you can, and give yourself grace the rest of the time. Don't beat yourself up. Don't feel guilty about things that you cannot physically do. I did end up physically being able to do what I did today. And I'll be fine. I did not over put, over, what is it? I did not push the boundaries. I did not overdo or anything like that. Um, I just did simple things, simple tasks that I could do. And I have found that my back hurts worse earlier in the day than it does in the evening. Like sometimes by the time I'm going to bed, my back feels almost normal which is crazy. I mean, it still has pain, but it's almost gone. And then I wake up and it's terrible again. Um, and it, it's not my bed. It doesn't matter where I sleep. If I sleep on the sofa, I sleep in the recliner. It doesn't matter. When I go to sleep and I wake up, it hurts. Every time. No matter where I sleep. So it's not the bed. In fact, we bought two different new beds hoping they would help at different times over the last few years, but neither one of them helped it. But that's okay. It's fine. I've learned to deal. So, I will see you guys again tomorrow. I've already said that one time, but anyway, I will see you then. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, go ahead and do all the YouTube things. If you didn't, do them anyway. You might like something I do later. Most importantly, leave me a comment down below. Let me know how you're doing. Also, the Rice Krispie Treats, you saw how I made them. The only thing I'm doing other than adding, other than, you know, normal Rice Krispie Treats, I add a cup, oh, well, it's not a cup. It's a half of a container, half of a 13-ounce container of the marshmallow fluff stuff <laughs> and a cup of peanut butter and M&Ms. They're so good. They taste like whatchamacallits. Noah got up, or Noah came in here, got up. Well, he got up out of the chair. He came in here and he said, oh, you made some more of those. But anyway, again, thank you for watching. And remember, don't take any wooden nickels and be sweet.